they've got to stay compact. They will play quickly, and they've got runners in some... Oh, go on. Mistake of the bat this time for Norwich. Can Conway convert? Drags it wide. And given the form he's in, he'll have uh, hoped to have added to his season tally. He'll be disappointed. He'll be in the form, as you say, he's in. And the goals he's scoring, he will be a little bit disappointed with that. Their weight players come off the shape and get in little pockets like this. So it's going to be difficult for the two of them, and it's probably important Andy Weyman drops and makes the extra midfielder as well. Here we go. Acres of space here for Puki to line up a shot. Eventually gets one away. Second chance for him. Bodies on the line. Viner with a critical block there. But the attack will continue at pace. Norwich were due to play uh, promotion hopefuls, and he could be away here. Timu Puki is a mistake at the back. A hesitation from Naismith. And we have the opening goal just after the 10 minute mark and it's their front man Timu Puki and that's uh, another error by Bristol City that they really need to cut out from their game Yeah, he looked in the right position kind of which was on the right side of him and he's just misjudged it and miscontrolled it it's a poor goal to concede and Nigel will Nigel be disappointed Here's Sykes, again capitalising on a mistake at the back. This game's been about mistakes so far. Penalty cry for Bristol City. Sykes and Conway can't believe it. It will be a corner. Well, no, it won't. The referees overruled the linesman. Naismith moves out from the back, and that pass is a poor one. Danger again for Bristol City. Timu Puki is in one on one. Zach Viner back, but cannot do anything to stop Timu Puki. Second of the game for him, and it's another mistake again. Bristol City carved open, but two completely avoidable goals. We just said about where, where's their strength of the team is through the middle. And we tried to squeeze one through, and it's left us absolutely wide open. The spaces is Mark Sykes in about 40 yards on the other side. If he just drops that over the top of them, and they end up one pass through. Two really poor mistakes. Launched forward by Sykes up towards Wells, and Bristol City now have numbers that they can utilise. Here comes Sykes, so much green grass to run at. Who can he pick out in the box? Pull back, Wells was there. On, Jada Silva oh. fires it into the legs of Tim Krull. Max Ahrens pumps his fist in delight at that defending from the home side. And it goes to Vyman. Sykes continues his run. Vyman just fires it across and forces another corner. Cantwell doesn't want to defend. He's leaving Sykes and saying, well, get on with it, Byron. Byron doesn't want to come out and deal with it. Look at Cantwell. Naismith goes for goal. Tim Krull slightly awkwardly grabs hold of it. They don't want to come out, the fullbacks don't want to come out, and the white players don't want to defend. Atkinson taking several players out of the game. Here's Wells, chips it in towards Here Conway. Go. Here we go, it's coming. And the deficit is halved, and there he is again, Tommy Conway. Get the ball wide, cross it in the box. Either side, Sykes has been more effective. Tommy Conway, great ball. Rob drives, really good. The fullbacks overcovered, the white players not defending. Naki pulls out. Really good delivery, left foot. Tommy is where he is, constantly, middle of the goal, to score a goal. Game on. It's that formidable combo yet again. Wells to Tommy Conway. Precision stuff, but it all comes from Rob Atkinson's endeavour to get forwards. Move Bristol City on for their first in this game. Jada Silva gets it from Atkinson. Tricky footwork from him, trying to... Move Aaron's out the way. Here's Scott. What can he orchestrate from here onto his left nice, foot in nice. towards Wells into the arms of Tim Krull? Again, another cross, another opportunity. Keep getting the ball wide, keep dragging him out of there. Aaron. In there with Hanley. Hanley trying to lose Matty James, who's marking him. In it goes, steered towards goal, and it's a third for Norwich. Josh Sargent with his sixth of the season. 
And a real blow for Bristol City, who have been in complete control. One set piece to the Norwich fans, and whilst they celebrate, they'll know their side have been peppered in this game, and it's gut-wrenching for Bristol City. Well, yeah, we're trying to, the, the whole club, we're trying to play with a real energy. We're trying to press the ball, we're trying to not let teams dominate us. And it'll give them a good chance, our younger ones, of, of playing in our first team. I think that's what we're doing. Shot from range, uh, awkward one for Benley. Sure, from a different angle, we'll see the swerve. I think that could be, or is it 73 minutes? Dan Bentley's first save. Goal now would end it as uh, Gabriel Sara fires it in. Danger hasn't passed. Hanley's there. Timu Puki's there. I was waiting for the net to bulge, but Bristol City escape. This was the Puki chance here just before he went off. Well, he's flicked it. Good save by Bent. Brilliant save. The face, I think, of yeah. uh, Bentley. Really good save. It's the first time we've seen that back, and it's it's a better chance than we thought. Look at that. What a save. I think Alex Scott's now gone to the right wing back with Andy coming back. More of an attacking player now. So Look at that for a tackle from Atkinson. Can Bristol City capitalise? Now Wells needs options around him. No foul either way, says the referee. Oh, go on. Joe Williams Head. gets in. Did he get Head. there ahead of the player? Oh, get in, Antwerp. And there is Semenyo. Boom, get in. Come on. Bristol City keep this game well and truly alive. And it's that man again. He is unstoppable at the moment. Booze ring around Carrow Road. I think it was a penalty. If, if he, if he, it, this one on Joe Williams was a penalty. So if Antoine didn't score, I think it would have been a pen. Here we go. Joe's on his shoulder, he nicks it, pen. And he didn't give the pen, so Antoine scored instead. The referee reaches for his pocket as though he was maybe just considering the penalty shout, yeah. but the game just... I think it happened so quickly, the ref didn't have time to blow. Excellent play, brilliant play from Rob Atkinson again. Outstanding. There's a player out on this right-hand side and danger for Bristol City, could be over here, but damn Bentley the hero again. My goodness, he's using every part of his body to keep the ball out of the back of the net. This game is enthralling now. Bristol City will come again.